Imagine inserting your own commands or parameters in the address bar along with domain for which website is not designed. This is command injection. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is all about command execution vulnerability. Let's get started. Open OWASP broken web application homepage. Click on DVWA. Login with default credentials. Admin in both the fields. Click on login. DVWA security. Set security level to low. Submit and tap on command execution. Ping for free. Enter IP address of a website. For demonstration purpose, we are using local host that is 127.0.0.1. Submit. And here you can see ping stats, number of packets transmitted and received. A brief about command execution. Command injection or execution vulnerability occurs when a computer program processes data from untrusted source without proper validation. Imagine a website search bar. If not secured, someone might enter harmful command instead of typical search query. It is like a sneaky backdoor. To fix this, developers need to validate and sanitize inputs, ensuring the application only processes safe and expected data. It is a crucial lesson in building secure websites, apps, or softwares. Let's get back to our hacking lab. Time to use command injection operator along with the IP address to check the vulnerability. Semicolon. And as you can see, the semicolon operator separated our command from IP address and replicated the same page. This is vulnerable to command execution. For more, type 127.0.0.1 semicolon ls submit and here is the list of all the files in the directory help index.php and the source why semicolon finding command injection operators is pretty easy type 127.0.0.1 open burp suit turn on the intercept and click on submit now here are the details right click and send it to intruder turn the intercept off go to intruder zero payload position as of now here you can see now select the target ip and click on add Go to payloads, tap on load and upload command injection operator file. Now here you can see number of operators, bars, colons, semicolon, ampersand. You can find these operator with the help of Google and save it to text file. This is exactly what I did. Get back to the burp suit and click on start attack. Tap on OK. The process is on. I already gone through this process. Let's pause it. Perfect. Select any and tap on response. In the search bar type DNS lookup. The operators below it will work for the given IP. It is not showing here because the process is paused to save the time. But you should allow the process to complete and search for operators through this DNS lookup. Time to close the burp suit and try some more operators. Remember this is for educational purpose only. We are using simple commands along with the IP address whereas bad actors can use harmful code after the operators 127.0.0.1 double ampersand echo you have been hacked and tap on submit and this will display the written content on the website let's try our double ampersand operator one last time 
echo hello world submit and here it is this is how our command execution exercise with low security level is solved now time to change go to dwa security medium submit and tap on command execution for medium security level let's view the source code of this simple and plain the best part is that this page blacklisted operators like semicolon and double ampersand that we used in our low security exercise if not these then what first let's try operators that we used earlier 127.0.0.1 semicolon ls submit no response not working let's try double ampersand Mm, who am I? Submit. No. As demonstrated in low security command injection exercise, find operators that works using verb suit. Please jump to mentioned timestamp. What if we use single ampersand instead of double? Would it work? We have been hacked. Tap on submit. Perfect. These operators like ampersand in this case helps to separate the command and always try your penetration testing or hacking skill in your own network and in controlled environment. Who am I? Mm. Ampersand host name and if config. Submit and here is the result. OVASP broken web application www data. You can find n number of commands that can be used after the operators with the help of Google search. This is how you can find command execution vulnerabilities and by actively addressing and fixing these flaws, you can create robust and secure websites safeguarding against potential bad actors and ensuring the safe online environment for everyone. To fix this vulnerability, use parameterized queries in databases, avoid system calls with unsanitized data and employ security libraries frameworks to sanitize inputs, ensuring commands cannot be injected through forms or URLs. Keep exploring, keep learning and thanks for watching.